I am Chris Gaylor. And I'm Amber Fuss from Cushion Cosplay. And we are watching Breaking, Breaking Bad. Bad. New show today that we're starting. Oh, well, what to do? Oh, no. <laughs> you guys, you guys, I voted for this show. And it was a show that we personally wanted to watch for a while now. And so, and it was clearly, clearly obvious on Patreon that you guys wanted this show on our reaction schedule, so here it is! Uh, before we start, Breaking Bad is gonna be playing two times a week on YouTube, on uh, Tuesday and Thursdays, and uh, it's gonna be playing two times a week also on Patreon, but with one episode in advance, so if you guys wanna see the next episode early... It's already on our Patreon, so just click on the link down below. Exactly. This show is also uh, gonna off... I'm gonna also offer the full reaction to this show on Patreon. So with that said, what do you know about Breaking Bad? Um, Nothing. <laughs> yeah, keep going, sorry. I just know that the main character, I don't remember his name, has... Isn't it Walter or something? Uh, Walter White, yeah, has cancer. And I think that's the main reason why he, I think he needed money and he started to really met to pay yeah. for his treatment. I think that's the main... The main plot of the of the show. That's the only thing that I know in clip of the show. It's basically the same for me because we've heard a uh, couple things from this show. Oh, yeah, it's been out for a while. So and it's impossible. I, I mean, even when I was in u university studying TV shows and films, they talked about Breaking Bad. Mostly, they talked about how famous it was and how uh, uh, great and, and about it. It's ending too because it was just ending as I was in university. So I heard that it was ending, but I didn't hear anything about the story except what you just said. Like, I know that he's a chemistry teacher, I think, and uh, he that decides... That would be obvious why he yeah. to do meth. <laughs> and he, he started making it in order to, to have money for his family because he's dying from cancer. I think that's... that sums it up from what we know. <laughs> anyway, uh, we are, we know it's a very popular show, so I'm I'm excited to see what the fame is all about, what the, the yeah. hype is about. So with that said, let's, let's start this. It. What? Let's watch it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but honestly, why is he in his boxers? <laughs> it's white ease. Why did he spend these? That's like my biggest question right now. That's why. But why? <laughs> Guys, sure. Oh, maybe a chemical accident. Oh. Okay. What's, what's going on? That might be like either the end of the season or the end of the show. If it is, great planning. Skyler, you are the love of my life. I hope you know that. Walter Jr. You're my big man. There are, there are going to be some things, things that you'll come to learn about me in the next few days. I just want you to know that no, no matter how it may look, I only had you in my heart. Damn. <laughs> but it's starting on a high note. <laughs> Fuck. Damn. Okay. What's going on? It's a very great way to start a show. For the panel earlier this year. Happy birthday. Look at that. That is veggie bacon. Uh huh. Hey. What? Hey, happy birthday. Thank you. You're late. Baby stuff. Again. Why? There was no hot water. Again. So. How does it feel to be old? How does it feel to be a smart ass? <laughs> Good. Eat your veggie bacon. He's so nice. Cute little family and it's all gonna go... If I have to, you know, guess. Well, for someone with a desert in Spanish, we're gone. It is going down what? Downhill? Yeah. Girls it? 
But why all the baby stuff? Okay, see. Maybe they're having a, a new family member? Or they never threw away Chemistry. stuff? It is the study of molecules. Molecules change their bonds. Elements, they combine and change into compounds. Well, that's, that's all of life, right? I mean, it's just, it's the constant, it's the cycle, it's solution, this solution, just over and over and over. Why are you not paying attention? Then decay, then transformation. Students in high school. I took chemistry back in high school because I wanted to see stuff like that. It ended up, it ended up being really, really, really boring. Chad. Is there something wrong with your table? Okay. Ionic bonds. Smart ass. You would have been out of my classroom in a minute. Fuck you. <laughs> Ionic bonds. Chapter 6. He's like this really passionate teacher. He's really uh, into what he, he teaches, but the students don't give a crap. <laughs> that saps his passion. Hey, Mr. White. Make those tires shine, huh? Oh my god. <laughs> you will not believe this painting chat's car. Mr. White. I kind of pity it, it's him. It's just a bad day over and over. <laughs> Clock 22. That's my daily carry, okay? I mean, unless you're talking, what? Plus P plus lunch. America! <laughs> Why am I not surprised? <laughs> At which point we apprehended three individuals and placed them in Oh my custody. god, is this his brother or brother in law? The outstanding professionalism of my fellow agents at the Albuquerque <laughs> <laughs> This was clearly an ongoing operation, mm. which was. Uh, well organized. Hey, how much money is that? Uh, it's about 700 grand. It's a pretty good haul. As I say, it's a good day for the citizens of Albuquerque when we can put this big a dent in the local drug trade. You could see the idea. You understood what I've just said to you. Yes. <laughs> Lung cancer. Inoperable. Uh. Best case scenario with chemo, I'll live maybe another couple of years. It's just, you've got mustard on your, I right think you mustard there, right there. I think he doesn't, you know, he doesn't understand yet. It hasn't got to him so yet. So my records show that I paid it and I, I okay. Can you imagine learning that you have lung cancer with, with a baby on the way? Hey. And the son who needs help. Yeah, and money problems. Did you use the MasterCard last month? Uh, 1588 at Staples. Wait, we needed printer paper. Well, the MasterCard's the one we don't use. Okay. So, how was your day? They have um, so much money problem that $15, they notice right away, you know? Doesn't look good. Fine. And he's seriously not gonna tell her? I, I don't know. Like, I understand not wanting to freak her out, but it's kind of an important subject to discuss with your wife, especially if she's gonna end up, you know, raising the children alone. <laughs> Come on, man, I'm short handed. I need you outside to do some wipe downs. Come on. Why don't you go? I said, I need you outside to do some wipe downs. Are you here to work or to be staring at the skies? Come on. Just quit, man. Like, it's probably not helping his condition. Fuck you, Bogdan. What? I said fuck you! And your eyebrows! Yeah. <laughs> See, it's getting to him. Oh. Because, yeah, that, that might be why he, he didn't want to go out because he, he didn't want to get recognized. You're a teacher and you have to get a second job. No one, wa no one wants to be recognized, but uh, he's not used to standing up for himself. But now, I, I mean, he has nothing left to lose. Uh, you exuberant Mexicans. Uh-uh. Captain Cook, that's a white boy's name. 
Dopey as hell, too. Yeah. Tell you what. Captain Cook. I got you 20 bucks. It says he's a beaner. Alright, you're on. But I mean, he has the perfect connections to learn how to do this without getting caught. Stay here a minute. He's about to hope for him to. Uh... He sees himself as this kind of kind of a celebrity. He has this job, and he, I mean, he thinks he's really cool, so he enjoys showing off to his friends. But I mean, he still has to take security measures. How oh, we know? Oh my God! <laughs> Jesse, right? Yeah. What's his name? Jesse. Oh He knows him. What? He knows him. Like he was a student, maybe? That he was working in the car wash. Oh yeah, I didn't hear the name of the guy who was supposed to come in and he didn't. Is it a Captain Cook? <laughs> oh, so the main guy. Well, the white guy. So who was supposed to, to win then? Ah, uh, they'll never know because I Oh, the think. other guy because he was supposed to be a white name. <laughs> it looks like he didn't tell. Hey, uh, it's me. I'm alone. High school was a long time ago. Hey, you ain't welcome back, Carter, so step off. No speeches. Oh, so he did Short teach speech. him. You lost your partner today. What's his name? Okay, so I think we're mixing it up. He was his teacher. Really? You got nothing. Square one. But you know the business. And I know the chemistry. Mm hmm I have a proposition. I'm thinking maybe you and I could partner up. Do you imagine your teacher comes what? to you? <laughs> Let's make meth. <laughs> Either that or I turn you in. <laughs> Doesn't have that much option. <laughs> he really is ready to go He's all in. Stealing stuff from school. Huh? He's about to make crystal <laughs> meth. He doesn't but care. Still, he can still have principle. <laughs> He's about to make crystal meth. It's not about principles. Oh, it's like he's about to die, so he doesn't care. No, but the way I see it, he's been underappreciated his entire life. At his job, both his jobs. In life, he has nothing to lose. And he wants to make sure his family has money to survive his death. No baby formula, no chili pie. No, no, chili peas, my signature. Not anymore. That's how you got caught. Yeah, well, we'll see about that. Stuff doesn't stay more than a day. What? I thought we were gonna cook here. No, we're not gonna cook here. Okay, this is my house. I don't shit where I eat. You tell me. This is your deal, man. You want to smoke it up? Smoke it up at your house. RV. That's what you want. Mm. What, like a Winnebago? <laughs> uh, more difficult to get caught. That's... His wife is so gonna ask questions if he's the one who buys it. You buy an RV? Like, she freaks out over $15. Tell me why you're doing this. Seriously. Why do you do it? Money? Mainly? There you go. Nah, come on! I am awake. <coughs> huh? What? I don't get it either. I think it, it kind of means that he's done lying to himself. Yeah, maybe. Now he's aware that uh, he's dying. That's the reality, and he needs money. God help me. He's gonna freak out seeing him undress. Well, he's not gonna cook in his... No, I know, but... Normal day clothes. What are you doing? <laughs> These are my good clothes. Can't go home smelling like a meth lab. Uh, yeah, you can. I do. That's why you got caught. Those? Wow. Those, uh, <laughs> you're, you're keeping those on, right? <laughs> this is glass grade. And you got 
Jesus, you got crystals in here two inches, three inches long. This is pure glass. You're a goddamn artist. This, this is art, Mr. White. Oh my god, at least put all the kind of clothes on. Really? He's starting. A yellow car? Ugh. Hey, I know you. He was there when I got busted. He's with the DEA. No. You rock that six, motherfucker. <laughs> run, Mr. Wright, run! <laughs> <laughs> Shit. I'll teach you my recipe. Huh? What do you say? You want to cook like me? <coughs> you let us both live. And I will teach you. Huh? But who's to say he's not let's gonna let's shoot like business? Yeah, but who's to say he's not gonna shoot him after? <laughs> yeah. That's why you never teach him everything. Yeah, but they know where they are. If he doesn't teach him everything, he's gonna come back. Ah. Uh. Moving, Holmes. You got all day. Or the end of the show. Well, I was way off. Oh. Wow. Okay. No, don't, don't forget it. <laughs> oh, that's why he couldn't breathe inside the RV. Ah. Oh. Ah. At least he got masked. Now we know why. Okay. That makes it more interesting because <laughs> now we don't know how it's gonna end. They don't know about your flab yet. Hide the gun. Run away. Okay, so that means he was ready to just throw it all away two days after he started. Well, did you see how it hands right now? The security. <laughs> Teacher. They're just going for the fire. <laughs> Hide the gun. <laughs> but I mean, he's clearly in distress. Won't they even stop? They gotta probably send someone over, but the fire is maybe top priority, I guess. <laughs> Look at. Nerves. <laughs> Ugh. We gotta clean this up. <laughs> Who <Man>. is he? <laughs> the chemistry teacher just killed man. They're not dead. You sure they're not dead? Yeah. I think they're dead. But like, imagine his point of view for the first time in I don't know how many years, his life was really something else. It got interesting. He got full of adrenaline. He has a purpose. <laughs> Is that you? Oh my gosh. He thought for a second he was actually gonna be gone. He's, he's gonna he was gonna die for real. Yep, so that was episode one. Very interesting. Very good beginning. I really thought that the beginning of the episode was like the end of the season or something. That could have been, yeah. So, but uh, no, that's surprising. But 
technically it's it was three weeks later from the beginning so we do you have enough materials to do a whole season with it to... well we didn't know it was three weeks and yeah they said in the just after the i didn't see it but uh i didn't see it so i didn't know but um now we're gonna see what goes after and uh it's uh it's interesting i mean the whole the whole concept of making meth selling it and stuff Obviously, we don't agree with it. <laughs> of course, we don't agree with that. But uh, in this show, we're just gonna have to erase, I think, that moral idea that that it's not that it's not okay and it's not good. Because I mean, if we don't, we're never gonna be able to connect with these characters. And in a way, even if he's doing the wrong thing, I still think it's not sweet. But I still pity the the main character, uh, Walt. We pity him, but. Doing the wrong thing for the right, right reasons reason doesn't make it still right. Still not the yeah. good thing to do. But um, it was his choice, and we're gonna roll with it. Uh, I still, I, it's really sad. I mean, he, he, to me, he's a guy who's never been able to step up, who was never able to stand up against the people who were abusing him in many ways. Like uh, he's he doesn't have a backbone. He's at school teaching his passion, and he's really into it. But the students that are in front of him, they don't listen. And even teaching his passion is not enough to make his family live. Which is bullshit, by the way. For a teacher not to be able to have a life with his teacher's salary, that's bullshit. Shouldn't be this way. But sadly, that's the reality. So, uh, and now he has a son who needs help. He has a wife who's pregnant, so she cannot do more, much now, right now. She doesn't now. do that much money either. She, she told her sister that she was writing. Yeah, but that's not, that's you not, know. That's not writing, it's just like short stories. She's, She's trying to sell stuff. her own stuff on a website like uh, eBay or Amazon, and it's not really mm -hmm. working well. So there's that, and uh, even in a couple of months, she won't be able to work at all. Unless, well, her job is like sitting at home and writing stuff. Yeah, but she's um, working at home. And basically. but after that, the baby's gonna come. The baby, it's a lot of expenses. You gotta have to add the fact that she's gonna have to take care of the baby, or he's gonna have to take care of the baby. So one of them and won't be able to he work. He got lung cancer. Yeah, so he's gone in a couple years, a couple months. But he maybe. doesn't have the money for the the chemotherapy. Yeah. So uh, it doesn't look good. So in a way. And, and especially since he saw right on TV the amount of cash that making meth could, you know, bring him. And he asked his friend, his cop friend, and he was like, yeah, it's easy money until we catch you. But with his connections, he knows how not to get caught. Like, don't put stuff in there that's easily uh, traceable. Like the, like um, Jesse was putting... Chili pepper, pe chili, chili pepper, chili pepper, or chili in it, powder, yeah. and that's how he got caught. Because I mean, because he, they got a, a trademark, yeah. Yeah, you have a trademark, you're gonna be recognized. So that's not a good thing. Um, and Jesse has the knowledge about the uh, the environment. He has the knowledge about how it goes, how it gets sell, uh, sold and stuff. He knows that stuff. But he, the teacher, he he has the connection in the police, and he also knows how to make something pure so something that's going to bring him a lot of money so they're i think they make a good team it's just very sad to see that he had to go that way or or that that was his first uh idea mainly yeah. but uh i feel like in this world it's i mean he's very good at it he's he's a chemistry teacher that's one of his forte and he's forte, doing yeah. hard now no but i mean I think doing that, doing that, I think it's the first time in his life that he actually feels like someone depends on him mm -hmm. and he's the big boss. Like he doesn't take no bullshit from anyone. He knows how to do this. So no one's going to be able to put him down because that, that's his territory. And Jesse, compared to his students, is actually interested in what he makes because he considers it art. Mm. So at first, he didn't know, you know, he, he wasn't, you know, paying him any respect. But since he saw what he could do... He literally said, you're the big chef. So he actually respects him. And after what we just saw in this episode, he actually knows that he's capable of doing some crazy things. Yeah. You think you're dead? I, I, I don't know. He said one whiff in your... You, you're... But I thought he, they were just unconscious. It's 
Chemical, how are they gonna clean this up? It's chemicals, uh, gas. Well, if they're dead, how are they gonna hide two bodies? Because I, I mean, it's, it's true. The freaking that... desert. Yes. Everyone, so what? Everyone can disappear in a snap. <laughs> anyway, to me, it's hard. Just but put the bodies in their yellow shitty car and put the fires on. Nobody's gonna know what happened. I've seen too much TV show. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, but it's true though that um, this story was never going to be put to rest if they didn't deal with the these two. Because I mean, they know Jesse obviously, and uh, they didn't know the teacher personally. But I mean, but you could easily people. sell him out. You could if you sell Jesse out. I mean, they, the the police could find where he lives and yeah. you could get arrested easily. So there's that. And they look some like uh, guys who could easily threaten your family to to get what they want so they could have yeah. him arrested or killed easily if they left them you know go so yeah they, they're probably dead yeah anyway uh, it, it's interesting I really want to see where this is gonna go um, it just it gave us a slight glimpse of the world that he's now going into because uh, I mean Meth is, is not, it's not, ma, ma, it's not like the smallest drug uh, there is. It's very, uh, it's dangerous. It's, you. uh, it costs a lot. It's, uh, it's something. And, um, the people that work with that, I mean, they're going to carry guns and they're going to be afraid. They're not going to be afraid to kill sure you if you up. play with them. So it's a dangerous world. Let's see where this goes. It's the God is state. Ching's job. He's gonna do both. I think he does, yeah. Because but he, he left quit, the, he quit the car wash. So I think he's gonna go. He didn't. He, he didn't tell anything to his wife. So I think after his teaching job, he's gonna go to the art to the RV. But I mean, this is just this is just the first episode. We don't know where he's gonna go after that. So let's see. Like I said in the beginning of the video, if you want to see the next episode, what? I just want to say, do you think that he's gonna change his personality? with his students because he seemed to uh, accept the crap and their the shitty attitudes that were giving him in his class because but not that he killed people that he's doing med and he has like a new purpose and life. do you think he's gonna be like with a more backbone when he's gonna teach? He has nothing left to lose at this point we saw him in the uh, in the shop when the, his son was made fun of which by the way was a very shitty yeah, attitude I'm actually I'm actually happy he got he got in his face and he kicked him down. <laughs> he went kind of to chop on him. <laughs> no, but honestly, he's done taking any bullshit, I think. And uh, now that he knows what he's capable of, and he's actually the man, <laughs> he's, uh, I think he's going to let less things pass in the future. We saw like there was at least one or two students who were making fun of him, like literally oh. laughing at him as he was working on their cars. So uh, I'm not, I, I wouldn't be surprised if one one time at least in the series in the season or in the series we saw him get back at the students i will be glad to watch that yeah because that dude was a jerk seriously you don't laugh at people's trouble seriously anyway so yeah that was episode one the pilot of breaking bad if you want to see the next episode right now it is up on patreon the link is down below the full reaction is also available if you want to see what didn't make it to the 10 minutes mm -hmm. reaction. If not, well, you just need to wait two days because it'll be uploaded on YouTube for Thursday. Thursday. Yeah, so see you then. Thanks Bye. for watching, guys.